What's up you guys, hey, it's Dr. Buck again, and this is a third installment of my suture tutorial videos. In this video, we're gonna go over how to tie knots. All right, let's get to it. First, I wanna grab my handy dandy little kit here I got from Medical Creations, it's pretty awesome. It's a really great suture kit if you don't know about it, you can go to Medical Creations. You can actually get a discount, Dr. Buck 10, I think is the code. Look in the comments below for the code. So I'm gonna grab my forceps, my AdSense forceps, and my needle driver out of that. And then I'm gonna get some suture. I'm gonna grab some 3-0 nylon. Oh, this is a monofilament. And we'll talk about that, what kind of sutures there are, materials, and why you use what in a different video. But this one, we're gonna tie some knots. Okay, we're gonna do some hand ties, but first I have to uh, put a couple sutures in here so we can tie them. So we'll do that, we'll just do a quick review. Get the needle at about a 90 degree angle. We want to get at the tip of the needle driver. I like a little angle, you know, most people do 90. I do like a little bit of angle, two thirds of the way back on the needle. We grab the Adson like a pencil, not like this like a pencil, thumb and ring finger, or you can palm, put the um, needle in, try to get 90 degrees, turn your wrist, come out, okay, go across the same level, the same depth, and then turn your wrist again, get that needle out. Hold that side of the tissue so the needle stays steady. Don't hold the needle, because that really doesn't work and it's not, the AdSense not made for that. Hold the tissue here, that way the needle doesn't move. We can push it across, grab it, right, and then uh, so it comes out and then grab it where you want to, where you want to set the needle the next time. So right about there, okay. So here's a little quick little tip. If you want to protect the needle from yourself and everybody else, so this is what I do. There's a couple ways to do this, but I set the needle in the driver like that. That way you can set it down, somebody can hit it. You're not gonna stick anybody like that, okay? Okay, so first, hopefully you can see this suture here. This is nylon, this is a 3-0 nylon. So the first one is gonna be a two-handed tie, okay? And most of the time your professors or surgeons are gonna want you to do a two-handed tie. Most uh, surgeons, I would say, do one-handed tie but they want you to do a two-handed tie first to be proficient at that. Practice your one-handed ties at home while you do the two-handed ties so you can look in in front of the surgeon. First thing you do is cross the suture. You're gonna hold the sutures like this, okay? And this is going to be a two-handed tie. So first, we're going to cross the suture like this, okay? You're gonna make an X on your index finger you're gonna put these two together, these two fingers together, and you're gonna slide the, the uh, thumb through. Now you have the X sitting on the thumb, okay? Then all you do is you put your finger on top of that suture there, and you do the same maneuver, but backwards. Go this way, right? And so then we have our first tie, okay? I'm gonna pull this down, like so. So the thing is, is about these is if you do the same tie twice, okay, then it's going to come down and it's, it's not gonna form such a tight knot, you can't move it. If I was to tie an air knot like this, okay, and then I tied the other one, I was gonna show you in a second, then it'll stay right there and you can't pull it all the way down. So I'm gonna do the same one. I'm gonna go like this, right, back, and then like that, and this should pull down, and I should be able to pull this all the way in. See how that works like that? So that's not totally secure though. So now we need to do the second portion of the two-handed tie, which is the opposite way. We're gonna start on our thumb first, and we're gonna swing around. We're gonna make an X on our thumb first. We're gonna put these two fingers together. We're gonna slide them through. Now that the cross or X or whatever you wanna call it is on your finger, right? Now you just put your thumb on the finger, push it through, and then you have this. Now be careful. You see how this is twisted when it's coming down? You don't wanna do that, so you wanna switch it over like this. Now it's coming down correctly, right? Now you will have a square knot with the second knot that I did. The first two are not square, these are gonna be square. Now this kinda of sets you up because I can just go like this now, because I did the thumb first, right? Now I'm gonna do the finger, okay, right? Now that comes down square on there. Now I'm gonna do the thumb, right? You see how that goes? Now I'm gonna do the finger. <clears throat> now the thumb. You getting the hang of this? Now the finger. That's how it goes. You want this to come together tight there. You don't want a big loop coming down because you can actually tie that loop like over those knots and get the this loop like underneath the other ones is a mess. So you want it a little bit taut there. Now depending on the tissue, you can't do a pull too tight because if you're on the bowels or something like that, 
then you pull too tight, you're gonna rip it right out of the bowel. So you gotta be careful of the tissue. It's coming down crooked. You see that? So I just flip it over and pull it down. So that's a left-handed, two-handed. I was using my left hand to do this, right? And we can do the right hand as well. So that is the same thing. Start like this. I'm gonna make the cross on the finger, right? Thumb's gonna go under. I'm gonna make the cross or X on the thumb. Put these two fingers together, push it back through, right? And then I see, I watch for it. Uh, it's gotta go this way, right? So you're not gonna do the thumb, right? I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna get it on the finger, the cross on the finger, it's gonna go through, right? I'm gonna see, I'm gonna watch it come down. It's gotta come down like this. And I do know some surgeons that use this exclusively, but most people do one-handers. Okay, so that's the two-hander. Now we're gonna go to the one-hander, I'm gonna take this out. Okay, a little practice here for you again. The tip of the needle driver is I can get it. My finger goes down close to the tip to keep it steady. My elbow is on the table. My wrist is on the table. My hand is on the table. My pinky's on the table if I have to, to keep it all steady. And that's as, as steady as you can get it, right? So across there, turn my wrist, right? Let go. If I need to hold this, I hold the tissue, not the needle. Pull it out, right? And then we're gonna do this. So. This is the one-handed, so we're gonna cross it first. I'm gonna do a right-handed, one-handed first, because this is the one I do all the time. I'm gonna hold the, the suture like this, the same as I did before. This is how you start, right? You got your the suture and your thumb and your index. You got it laying across your other hands, or your other fingers here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay this across as well. So this is across, then you're gonna pull this around, in, or in and around, okay? And then I, I use this, Middle finger, right? You give somebody the middle finger. This is why I like this one, it's my favorite, because you get to give somebody the middle finger every single time you tie. So anyway, the middle finger comes in and it sweeps. It gets caught The you pinch the suture in between your middle finger and your ring finger there and you pull it in, okay? So then now you see that come down. So for this one, if I want that knot to be secure, I'm gonna do the same one again. I'm gonna do that again, right? and this is gonna come down. Now the trick to pulling this down is to have this left hand, if you're doing this right-handed knot, the left hand up, and then this right finger is gonna pull it down. So that's gonna go tighten it up, and you want to pull equally away from the knot. If you pull one or the other too hard, the knot's gonna pull out of the tissue. So to make a square knot, then I'm gonna hold the suture like this. I'm gonna come across, I'm gonna make a little uh, bridge, right? That bridge is gonna cross here, and then that index finger is gonna sweep, right? So you gotta do it kind of quick, but so I wanna pull some tension on this and this index finger is gonna sweep under the one in my left hand and then over the one in my right hand. And then I can pinch it and then pull it through, okay? But then this has gotta come down this way. So that could come down this way, then it's gonna be a square knot. What I like about this one is I'm gonna do a couple right here like this. So I go like that, boom. And I have my finger there. It's already ready to go there. And then look at, watch this. And then I'm there, ready for the another one. That's why I like this one because it's so like pretty smooth. I didn't do that that smooth with this one, but you see how you get set up for each time. That's kind of fun if you do a whole bunch of them. It's getting a little short, but that's how you do that one. That's the right-handed one-hander. Oh, I got this all crooked now. Let's do the left-handed one-hander. Let's get another piece of nylon, and I'm gonna use this, and we'll do another one. You can just watch me do it. I'm not gonna talk about it. Let's do a little figure eight here. Well, that's gonna go this way, right? So you gotta be careful where this loop is and where this needle is gonna come out. You wanna be careful of that. I'll always watch and figure out where it's gonna come out. So I'm gonna pull this a little bit. Here, I'm gonna tie a figure eight here. I get enough for this hand ties. Okay, this one will be the left-handed one-hander. So we're gonna cross them first, cross the streams. Don't forget to cross the streams, okay? Left-handed one-hander is going to be similar, but the opposite, okay? And then we're already set up, right? So we're going to just do, oh, I did see that. Okay, well, I got lucky, it came down. Nylon's super slippery, and so if you do this, uh, the opposite knots for like a square knot with a polyfilament, then it'll catch and you will not be able to pull it all the way down. You'll have an air knot and everyone will laugh at you. So look how that 
is looking pretty nice. Now you don't need this many knots. You usually do about six or so knots. Vicryl, I usually do about four to five knots. Most people say four knots. Silk, I try not to use, but I, use, I usually tie about uh, three to four knots. Most surgeons say three knots for silk and four knots for Vicryl. I do four and five because why not, right? So that is the left-hander. That is how to tie hand knots. Those are the two-hander and the one-hander, pretty simple. And in the next videos, we'll go over instruments. We'll go over sutures and different types of sutures as in uh, running and interrupted and vertical mattress and horizontal mattress and all that stuff. That is really important. You gotta know the hand knots. Practice this at any time, anywhere. Uh, I'm gonna show you one more little tip. Hold on. So I have my lanyard here and if you have some suture, what you can do is either, what I used to do is either on the lanyard or my button on my white coat is I take this and while everybody is talking, I practice tying knots on rounds. Like while you're standing there and the attending is babbling about something you really do not care about. Sorry, I'm trying to do this while I talk, but you just sit there and tie knots and you get really good at them. And you can do one-handed and you can do two-handed and you can do left-handed and you can do right-handed, whatever. So just anywhere, anytime you should be able to tie knots and that way you'll get really good at them because once you go into the operating room or somebody asks you to tie something, you need to be really proficient at it because they're gonna judge you based on if you're doing well or not. And you don't get like, like practice in front of them and then show them later. So you gotta practice before and then when you show up, it's game time, you show them you're uh, really good at doing knots and you can you have some dexterity and then typically you'll get handed more things to do, more fun things to do and more, you know, uh, suturing and, and stuff like that if you're good. If you're really bad, they're gonna be like, eh, maybe you go home, practice some more and uh, we'll try this again another time. Well, meanwhile, the other students or residents and stuff will get all the procedures. So definitely practice your knots. All right, you guys, hey, thanks for watching this video. Thanks to Medical Creations for sending me this kit. Um, I really appreciate that and, and sponsoring this video. And uh, subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.